Hi there, hope everyone's doing good. I just wanted to share something because I've been doing a lot of different work of late, um, going through a lot of breathing techniques, going through a lot of uh, clearing my limiting beliefs to help me become awakened, to help me follow my dreams, um, to help me take action to everything that I want to do. Um, although I have already published three books, um, one in the making, I have created many courses and I do coach people all over the world. Um, there is still things in me that, you know, stops me and I have my own limiting beliefs that I'm working through. Um, so I wanted to just, um, I just wanted to just share a story that happened yesterday just because um, it's just, an, I just want to show what happens when you do actually, um, when you tune into you tune into what you are doing and where you're going um, and who you are and you kind of you get to a place where actually you believe in yourself and the power of you know the universe God um, your higher self whatever you want to call it um, I mean like I believe in the universe or you know I call it my higher self um, but I just wanted to share this story because I it was just like wow this is how this is how things happen when you are in this state and you do work alongside yourself and you do work on your mindset daily and you work on um, you work on you um, and it's not about anybody else everything's about you inside you and, and your inner world will reflect your outer world um, and I'm really deep into this at the moment and I, I mean I have been in personal development for like 10 years now and um, but getting to this stage um, is profound so I just wanted to share so I'd, um, I'm actually in Cyprus at the moment and I go around the island and, you know, really get into the uh, nooks and crannies of the island to check out the little gems, the hidden gems around. And um, my car um, ended up with lots of, like, mud really stuck behind the wheels um, on, the, uh, on the flap at the back of the wheel arch. And um, my daughter pointed out to me, she's like, Mum, look at the state of it. So I thought, oh, wow, OK, I need to go and get the car washed. Um, then I thought I, when I go to my friends, I'll probably just get the hose pipe and just wash it down. Um, and I was having all these ideas of, you know, what I'm going to do and when I'm going to do this. And um, two hours later, something pulled me to go to the shop. Um, the weather was absolutely fine. Uh, you know, it was quite warm. Um, and I got into the car. And as I got, as I went literally around 30 seconds down the road, I see a big flash and I thought, oh, what's that? Um, I thought there was a car flashing me somewhere, but there was nothing around. I went another about 30 seconds and I see the flash again. So I realised, oh, it was lightning. Now, within two minutes from that, the rain, I mean, when I say the heavens opened, the heavens actually opened. Um, the rain was gushing down. And um, I was like, wow, why the second I leave the house, it starts to rain? And um, I was like, well, whatever, I can just get on with it. So I did. I just went, I went to the shops as I was doing. And the second I got home, the rain completely stopped. So I was like, oh, interesting. And then I looked at my car and uh, my car, all the mud that was stuck at the back had gone, completely and utterly gone. Sorry, there's a car going past. Um, so, yeah, so... I was like, wow, look at that. Out of all day, it hasn't rained. This was about seven o'clock in the evening. I decided that that moment to leave the house and in the moment that I left the house within two minutes, the heavens opened and there we go. The car was absolutely, when I say clean, it was sparkling clean. So I was like, ah, I don't need to go to the car wash. I don't need to go and find a hose pipe to clean it down. Um, it was done for me. So that's really the power behind your asking. Like I asked and I received and I didn't have to do anything. I just got an impact to go to the shops. So that's really what happens. So once you start getting into a place of working on your mindset, working on yourself, working on who you are, um, what you want to achieve, and you tune yourself into this, into your higher self, into the energy that creates worlds, these are the things that happen. I mean, I've got many stories I can share with you, but that was just one in particular that um, just happened last night. So I thought I, I have to share this. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, if you want to know more, I mean, look, I've got a six-step system in uh, a second book that I wrote called Your Law, The Practical Guide to Applying the Law of Attraction. 
and I take you through a six step system that gets you in the right mindset to uh, achieve the things you want out of life. So it, it, it's on Amazon. Um, you can just search under my name, Anthea Morfetis, or Your Law, the practical guide to applying the law of attraction. And also you can get it in hardback or in ebook. And on that note, it's lots of love to you all, love and light, and uh, I wish you all the miracles and success, and we'll speak soon. Take care. Bye.